Martial arts teaches commitment, patience, and discipline. Today, we'll talk about a reputable Bahraini center which is teaching Taekwondo, martial arts, and self-defense for children, youth, and adults. With us in the studio is Al Banna himself, the founder of Al Banna Martial Arts Center. Welcome to the studio. How are you today? I'm good. How are I'm you? I'm good. I'm good. You look fit and amazing. Thank You're like you so ready much. to go. Yeah, you're ready. <laughs> so tell us about this center. Uh, actually, uh, I'm the founder of the Mar Albanian Martial Arts Center. Uh, I've started the center in 2008, mm -hmm. September. So now we are in the 13th year. Uh, before that, I was player in Bahrain national team from 1999 until 2005. Okay. Uh, and after that, I had an injury during one of my tournaments. Mm. So I've stopped my career like being a player. Okay. So it took me three years to understand that my career as a player is over. So I thought of starting my own small wow. school. Then wow. it goes on, small classes, small classes. I started with adults, then youth, then children. Uh, thanks God now we have around like, uh, we have trained more than 5,000 students in the amazing. center so much. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Three years for you to have the transition from being an athlete to a center. That is amazing. I mean, uh, actually, I, I, I did not accept that situation. I understand. You know? Yeah. So I had to go through different operations to my right knee. And I even tried to go back to be a player in 2007, but mm. I failed. I, I couldn't participate. So there was a time that I like, I have to do something else. So I started my center. Okay. I have the passion for the game. I have the right. passion for teaching the children, especially the children. So here we go now. That is very, I would say, strong of you, to be honest, because a lot of people would say, Khalas, I will give up everything, give up the entire thing. I, that said, I had enough time with that, but you decided, no, you won't give up. And you just changed to be an instructor. Because this is the main thing about martial arts, is a commitment. Right. You have to be committed, whether you are a player or a pro or a coach, you have to be committed. Hmm. So, I spent now 26 years in Taekwondo. Wow. So, you have to be committed. No matter, even if you are doing it as a hobby, even if you are doing it as a profession. Okay. You have to be committed. That's the secret of martial arts, commitment. Okay. Love that. So, why Taekwondo? I mean, why not like Shaolin Temple Kung Fu or Hojo Musul MMA? I mean, why Taekwondo? What really made you attracted to that martial arts sport? Before going to that, I have tried many things before starting Taekwondo. I was a swimmer. You swimmer, okay. Then I moved to handball. Okay. Then in 1990, I was a soccer player in Manama Club. Huh. I did not like any of these <laughs> sports. So in 1993, I started uh, going to the gym. Okay, a bodybuilder. A bodybuilder, yeah. So I'm doing it until now. Okay, it shows actually. <laughs> I, I'm like, mm. <laughs> but. Then I thought of why would I have a muscle if I can't use it for something useful? Interesting. Yeah. So the body is a tool and I need to use it. I was very obsessed about these movies, Van Damme, Sylvester, you know? Yeah. So then I started, I want to do a martial art. I didn't know which martial art I should do. Mm. But Bahrain was very special in Taekwondo. It's one of the oldest martial arts in Bahrain actually. Huh. Okay, it's so like for the first. And uh, it had very big base of players. But we didn't have so much of schools at that time. Right. And since that, the Taekwondo, it's a martial art and it's a sport. Okay. So it has both features. Sports means that they have international tournaments, they are into the Olympic games. So you have a long way to go. While the martial arts, it's only like a, Training. Right, self defense. Self defense. Yeah, yes. So I choose Taekwondo. Um, it's a very beautiful game. Okay. It's very difficult, but <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man, beautiful. I mean, my son just took some classes in Taekwondo. He's happy, but now I have to be careful. Actually, you see, a lot of people think that when kids they go into this Taekwondo, you have to be careful. Right. It's the opposite. It's the opposite, right? You have to be careful if they do not go to any kind of this discipline sports. Okay. Because once they are into this kind of sports, especially Taekwondo, we teach the children's discipline. Beautiful. Self-control, self-confidence. These things will make him more calm. Mm. And the energy that the children they have at home, 
or with their friends, they will put all this energy into their training. Right. So it, it's, it's the opposite thinking. It's not that the children will go to Taekwondo and they come back home and they'll be... Right. Yeah, they might have some reaction in the first... Reflexes, yes. ...weeks only. Right. After that, they will know how and when to use their energy and they'll be more mature. Even at a very younger okay. age, they'll be much more mature. I love this. I love this. I, I mean, I wish I actually had tech when, when I was younger, but I think it's never too late, right? It's Even never too late. Me. Yeah, because we offer as well adult training. Okay. Um, actually, since the adult training, Taekwondo is very difficult training mm. because usually we use 90% of our legs. Right. And a lot of adults, they are into like punching. Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah. because punching is easier. You do not need to have a lot of flexibility and stretching while the legs has to be very flexible. And right. So, and the muscle, the arms muscle are very small compared to the legs muscle. So a kick will equal like three times more difficult than the punch. To perform. Yes, right. to perform. So uh, most people are into punching more than the kicking. So okay. that's why when we introduced the adults training in our center. Okay. I have brought the kickboxing techniques as well into Taekwondo. Mm. So I have like, it's not a full MMA, but it's like a Taekwondo kickboxing training together. Very interesting. You know? Never heard so that they, that they can use the punching techniques more and the defenses more with their hands. Okay. And we can use Taekwondo kicks. So I have built like a new system for the adults because huh. they say like Taekwondo is mostly for children or it's, it's difficult, it's, I'm, I'm old. Right. So I would say the same actually. Yeah. yeah. So I brought like the, the kickboxing okay. techniques, and I put them with taekwondo, right. and I have developed a adults program. You made a new system. A new system, yes. And then been a martial yes, arts yes, center. Yes. This is beautiful. So it's a taekwondo mix, mixed martial arts. I would call it. Actually, we call it an MMA. Okay. Because people yeah. like, it's a grappling name, you know, MMA. Yes. But yes. whenever someone asks about the, our MMA, we say like, so you have an MMA, it's a mixture of Taekwondo and kickboxing. Okay. Yeah. We do not do grappling. We do not do submissions. We do right. not do floor fighting. We do not do elbows or knees as a Muay Thai. Right. So it's a kickboxing and Taekwondo together. Okay, okay. I, I love that. I'm more interested now. <laughs> I'm actually even joining the center. You never know. Why not? Let's go, know, let's go, let's go. So you got the adults. What about your programs for the kids? Actually, the kids is an ongoing program through all the year. Uh, we have a program from three to seven years. Actually, okay. to, we are the first center to accept children from three years and above. Mm. Not even in Bahrain, even around the world. They usually start the corner from five or six years. But uh, I love children, I love kids, I'm a father. Mm. So I started to accept children from three years and above and everyone was saying like, three, what are you gonna do? Exactly, right. Uh, he's like, no. I have a player that he started three. Now he is 14 years old, he's still with my player and he's a third down black belt. Wow. I have many players that wow. they started with three years, wow. now they are like progressing. Right. I've proved that three years they can learn. Yes, they can learn. Okay. But the learning curve is a little bit different than right. the other ones. Right. But to be a good player, it starts at the age of six or seven. Mm. So instead of wasting this three to seven doing nothing and going to nursery only, you can teach them at least the discipline, the respect, the basics of the martial arts. So I have a program from three to seven. Okay. It's amazing. Okay? And I prepare them for the school life to, be, to have a stronger character to know what's bullying, what's right. anti-bullying. Right. So before right. to go into that stage of school, they should be ready to face the different environment. So this is three to seven. Then I have eight to 13. Eight to 13, these are the strong team, the biggest, the biggest number of players we have in Bahrain in all of the schools is from eight to 13 and they are good players. They can be developed as champions in future because yes. we need at least five to 10 years to build a champion. Right. Yeah. So we have this base. Then we have the 13 to 17. This is the most difficult phase or stage of children to the youth to deal with. Really? The teenagers. Okay. 
and, and this is a very challenging for us, very challenging mm. with the teenagers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strong opinions, maybe they're kind of rebellious. Uh, actually, uh, it's this is the environment now. Environment, okay. Is the gaming? Video games. Video games. Interesting. The video games. You know, at the age of 13 until 17, they are into video games, iPads, the social media. A lot of. Uh, uh, they, right. they are not focused into sports anymore. So if, if, if the okay. parents, if the parents okay. they did not start to build this into their children from a very young age, they will not be able to do so when they are teenagers because when they are teenagers, they have their own opinion, their own decisions. You can't force right. them to do it. Right. right. So you have to start to start from the, the early stages. Okay. You know, and okay. to teach them that this is part of your life. This is a... Uh, as you go to school, right. it's an uh, academic education, and this is a different kind of education. Interesting. Yeah. So informative, so educational. You're doing a lot. You're not only like teaching martial arts, you're teaching a lifestyle. Yes. And it's a beautiful thing to have in a center. So with that being said, what is your last words to the viewers? Actually, we would like to see more parents to have a better understanding of what we do. We are not only teaching them a sport, yeah. We are teaching the children, especially, uh, a lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle. You know, that yeah. this lifestyle should be there even when they grow up and they go even to work. Life is not about just going to school, then graduate, right. then go to work. Right. You should have good things to do. You know, a lot of people they invest into the children in a lot of things, but when it comes to sports, they consider it as like. It's only a hobby for a time period, like two months, three months, or as a, a camp, mm. you know? Mm. But we are looking forward that the parents should have a view for their children, even if they do not want them to be champions. Okay. But at least they can be champion in life. Exactly. You know? Love this. Yes. You know, the, it's not everyone can be champions as a gold medalist in the world. No. But they can be champions in their life. I wish somebody told me this earlier. <laughs> it's never too late. It's never too late. Well, sir, thank you so, thank much, you so much for this talk. Really educational, really inspirational, and it's been a pleasure having you with pleasure us to meet on you the show. As well. Thank you so much. Definitely a pleasure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it yourself right here happening on Bahrain now. You don't have to be a champion of an Olympic competition, but a champion of your life right here on Bahrain now. Mm -hmm.